I found that like, you know, it can't even just being on the other side as a creator and, and storytelling, like what I get most excited about is when directors bring their own vision to the table. And, you know, when they're bringing, they're, they're giving a piece of themselves and a piece of their styles to the show. So what do you do when that, when those visions don't necessarily align? Because I've had, you know, situations where it's just like, oh, I can't necessarily see it. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to try, or there may be other times where I'm just like, oh, I don't know. We're tied on time. So when do you decide like, this is, this is kind of it. And I know that this is going to kill it. And when do you decide to like, okay, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to fall back. It's, it's, it's on you. That's a really complicated question. I mean, one, the first thought I have is I'm incredibly controlling and I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> there is of course a necessary degree of, um, confidence and control that you need to have in this position, but I think there's uh, also a healthy degree of surrender. Um, and so how I navigate that scenario where I feel like I differ in someone's el someone else's uh, opinion, um, I just listen and I think I listen to what my gut is saying and I listen to why they differ to my opinion. Um, and it, it's, it sounds like, uh, uh, abstract concept, but listening is my job. It's the most important part of my job. Uh, and so the moments where I don't, I found that I haven't listened, I'm, I've made the wrong choice. And the moments where I'm present and I'm taking in what my collaborator is saying and why they disagree with what I'm saying, I can then listen to my impulse, whether or not to agree or disagree in that conversation. And if I disagree, I have to, I better be very, very clear on why I disagree and pitch why I feel like, um, the the feeling I have might be a better way to reach the story, but it's all about story. 